Hello, welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this laminator. Let me go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna show you the one that I picked. I picked the camouflage color. So let me go ahead and show that to you. Something about laminators is that you always need several other tools besides just a laminator, which is why I like so much that this is a three-in-one laminator. Oh, nice, it actually comes with a lot of extra stuff, which is really great. So you can see it comes with some fun things you can use for some projects. It also comes with this little hole puncher. It has the user manual here. It comes with some keychain rings. And then this also comes with a starter pack of laminating sheets. It comes with the standard eight and a half by 11 larger sheets and then smaller ones you can laminate like pictures or bookmarks or something like that. And then we have the actual laminator itself. I picked this camouflage design because I just thought it was really fun and a lot of my things are just black, like all of the different tools that I have in the little schooling section. I feel like they're all just black and so I'll easily be able to tell what this one is and be able to pull it out. I love that this is not very big and it's not heavy at all, but some of these functions, I'm just gonna show you kind of up close here, is it has a ruler down here so you can measure how big or small you are cutting things. It also has the angles around here. Um, it has a paper cutter right here as well as a ruler along this end. And then right here underneath, kind of behind, is a little edge rounder or a little corner rounder. When you laminate anything, the edges are gonna be very pokey, and so it's kind of a must to have a little edge rounder or a corner rounder. So this is really, really nice that everything comes in one, and you literally don't need any other tools than what this kit comes with right here. I feel like this is a great system. Some of the other features that I do wanna point out is that there is a little lip on both of these sides just to help feed your paper through this paper cutter a lot easier. We have the little ready and the power lights right here. We have this little switch back here so that you can reverse it in case something were to get stuck in here. Now that we know what all of this comes with and what it looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and get something to laminate and we'll test it out. I have this all ready to go. I have the thing that I'm going to laminate. This is something that my daughter made that's really special to her, so I'm just gonna cut it down and then laminate it in one of these um, eight by 11 laminating pieces. Now there's a little on and off switch right over here and you can actually laminate it both um, cold laminate and hot laminate, and I'm gonna actually do hot. Okay, before I actually turn this on, I'm gonna cut this down to the size that I wanna use it just because the paper cutter is right here on top. I really, really like these little stoppers for the paper. It just makes it really easy to know kind of where you're at. You can see there's actually three different settings here. We have wavy. This is the wavy option. So it cuts like this, so that's really fun. It's kind of a scalloped edge. It does the straight edge and then it does perforated. I believe that's what it's called. Okay, I'm gonna actually just show you that one on here. So you just twist it. Okay, and click it into place, and I'll show you what this one looks like. So you can see what this looks like. It makes it so it's really easy to bend, but it's not fully broken off, but you can easily bend it and break it. That is so handy. So I'm actually just gonna keep using this scalloped edge for the piece that I'm doing. It like cuts so nicely. All right, perfect. This is all ready to be laminated. Now that this is plugged in and I already have my piece cut and ready to go, I'm gonna turn this on. And while this is heating up, I'm gonna see about how long this takes to heat up and I'm just gonna get my laminating sheet ready. When you're laminating something, you always wanna make sure that whatever it is that you're laminating, it is laying flat the way that you like. You can see that there are a couple of little sticker pieces in here that are not laying flat, so I'm just gonna fix those first. And you always wanna make sure that you have some lamination on the edge of all of your things just so that it can seal together really nicely. Okay, and I like to put all of the things that I'm laminating all the way over to the far corner here. You can see that this opens up and I just placed my piece inside. And then we're gonna feed it in um, this sealed corner first or this sealed side first. This took just about five minutes to warm up, so we are ready to go. I'm just gonna feed it in. It says right here actually for a little reminder, sealed edge first, which is what we're doing. So I'm just gonna feed it in until it catches. Okay, so I can feel it caught right there, so I'm just going to lead it in. Okay, so 
so it's coming out the other end and it looks really, really nice. All right, it's just about done. Okay, this is all finished. This is what it looks like. It looks so good. <laughs> So when you look at something that's laminated to tell if it actually did a good job or not, you're looking for a lot of bubbles in it or unlaminated areas or sections or unsealed edges. And I, all of these edges are sealed. There are no bubbles in this, which it was a little bit of a crinkly piece just because these are stickers on paper. Um, but I'm really, really happy with this. Now that I am finished laminating this piece, I'm actually just gonna go cut these edges and then round the edges. And I just wanna make sure that I remember to change this to the straight edge. So I have all of these edges cut to the size that I'd like. Now I'm just going to use a little edge rounder. Okay, now all of my edges are rounded so they're not gonna poke anybody and now I have my piece fully laminated. I love how quick this was to set up and to get all heated up and I love the quality of this lamination process. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check out this laminator yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching, bye.